student of theirs. What advice can you give to new entrepreneurs to reach their fullest potential? Uh, if you're a new entrepreneur, you need a coach or a mentor. Um, you know, you, you don't know what you don't know. And the shortcut to success is coaches, coaches and mentors. Um, I wouldn't be who I am today if I didn't have a coach or a mentor. And a lot of us wasn't taught that in school. We wasn't taught to have coaches and mentors. We were taught to idolize people, you know, and be inspired to be somebody. But we wasn't taught to get coaches. And so if you want to really win in whatever you're doing, find someone that is winning in that area and be willing to pay your way. Yes. serve your way or earn your way into being some type of student of theirs. What advice can you give to new entrepreneurs to reach their fullest potential? Hey there, besties. Let's go ahead and talk about this article or this video from Jasmine Brand, where they brought out Stormy, whatever her last name is. We just spoke about her a few days ago, and here she is. I said about women, black women in particular, who are actually successful, who made it from nothing to something, and this is the woman who has done it. She used to be on welfare and food stamps and everything else with all the kids and couldn't barely make nothing, yada, 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 found a way, however she did it. Now she got more money than who knows what to do with, but the rest of it, I digress, right? The point is, is that this is really someone who can actually say, that they actually made it and they made all this money, they have it, blah, 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 instead of just getting on the internet and lying, right? Fine. So the man asked her the question about what it is that you can do in order to be successful. I feel like she's the best person to ask. She's black, she's a woman. Let's not act like there's not like a bunch of black women who follow all these blogs. She answered the daggone question. She actually answered it very well. She makes absolute perfect sense in what it is that she said. And, you know, the biatches is mad. They don't believe it. They call in her names because, like I always say, first of all, there is no sisterhood. There is no code among women. And you can't say anything that makes sense and have people understand it, listen to it, and follow it. But if she said some foolishness, they would be all for it. So Stormy says, um, Coach Stormy says, upcoming entrepreneurs need to invest, invest in business coaches. Whatever could be wrong with that. She didn't say her. She didn't point out anyone in particular. She said, invest in business coaches. She said, pay your way, serve your way, or earn your way, right? Pay your way, pay for whatever it is that you need, what you want, what you need to get for whatever your purpose is. Serve your way. You got to give to someone. I would take that to mean an internship, an apprenticeship, or something like that. Or earn your way, which I would assume is to just go ahead and work someplace and then you figure it out from that perspective, right? Nowhere in this interview does she say me. Nowhere in this interview does she say go to my page. Nowhere in this interview does she say I'm the one for you, blah, 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 blah. Now, mind you, Stormy bottles her stuff up and says if you want it, you got to pay for it. And I applaud her for that. Why should she give it away for free? Why should she give it away for free? But at the end of the day, this is not even about that. But I definitely want to go ahead and read some comments. Shout out to the Jasmine brand. Their caption reads, is Coach Stormy speaking facts about investing in business coaches? First comment from All Hip Hop Daily says, but she's right though. It's the same as paying for a class at a college. I see most of y'all don't like to evolve. Y'all despise change. And I agree 1,000. Shout out to All Hip Hop Daily. You can tell who knows about business for real, for real, and who just be on the internet running off at the daggone mouth. Next comment. It says, hey, kids, it's actually okay to go to college for business administration management. It's okay to go to college for accounting and finance. It's okay to go to college for marketing. I'm speaking to the kids, the middle and high school kids that sadly subscribe to this BS. So in other words... We haven't learned anything about this alleged debt crisis as far as school is concerned. No one is listening with regard to what degrees are better and best and worth even going to get one for. They would rather encourage you to go to college, spend all that money, get into debt, come out, not have enough money in order to pay the daggone thing, and then blame Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Obama for it. We've seen it over and over and over and over again. And of course, these are women talking they sugar honey iced tea the ones that come on kendra g every episode talking about they make a hundred thousand dollars child we already know they be lying 
You can see by these comments, these people don't know nothing about business. So it wouldn't make sense to go and find someone who knows about what they're talking about and what they're doing. And Stormy did not say to come to her. But basically, she said, you need to go get your dad on information so that you can be the most successful that you can be. What possibly could be wrong with it? Oh, yeah. The sisters will always find a way to make someone be wrong. And don't forget, it's a black woman and black women are coming for her yet again. Next comment. You all definitely should have left her in 2023. Next comment. Stormy finesses more women than Lord finesse. Now, again, I'm not going by anything other than what we have in front of us right here. Whatever it is she may have done, you know, that's that. But if you just go by this conversation, the answer to this question, she's giving out the right, correct information. Y'all don't even know and understand when you can, what, chew the meat and spit out the bones. Take what it is that's best for you and what isn't to toss it away. Like y'all can y'all have no discernment what so daggone ever. And that's why I don't have any empathy and sympathy. And that's why I'm not trying to tell nobody to do nothing about nothing at all. All I'm going to do is laugh all 20 damn 24 at the stupid ass mistakes because y'all don't want to, first of all, invest in your damn self. You don't want to spend no money where it makes sense in your damn self. And you out here trying to tell somebody else what to do. And every time you open your daggone mouth, you prove that you don't know what the hell it is you talking about. Next comment. In addition to that, there is a plethora of pertinent information for free on YouTube. Take advantage of what's available. Now, I'm not saying that that's not a good idea, but that means that you got to be strongly disciplined person in order to do that. Now, I do it because I'm on YouTube, so it makes sense. That's my business. But other people probably, for the most part, aren't going to do that. They're not going to know who is who and what to go for, what to look for, anything like that. But go ahead and tell them not to support the sis. Let's not miss this part, y'all, okay? This is black women telling you not to support a black woman, but they'll be the first ones talking about what black people don't do for each other. Make that make sense. I can continue to prove this every single day, how there is no sisterhood, how y'all ain't got the sense that God gave you, and how if you sit around here and, and allow these people who talk out of both sides of their mouth to allow you to, to drive you crazy, they will drive you crazy child next comment says she annoys me for some reason next comment says is this the low vibration plate heifer begging for employment where is it that stormy asked for employment in this video where was it that she asked for anyone to come to her to do this that or the daggone third and if and even if she did right she is being asked to do this interview and i'm pretty sure she probably got paid for it right why is it that it's a problem for black people to make money in order to further their lives and do better for themselves? Y'all don't even realize how it is that you be saying stuff to say that you shouldn't do it because you're black. Y'all be holding each other down. Y'all don't even realize that's what you be saying to people. Then you'll turn around talking about black people don't support black people. You're sitting up here telling black people not to support the black woman. And you're a black woman. These are black women talking these stupid comments. You cannot win with these people from any aspect whatsoever. Y'all got to pay attention to what people be saying. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. That's why I don't got, I ain't got nothing for nobody. If you ain't paying for it, I don't want to hear it. You ain't getting nothing from me. I'm the same way. My time matters. My knowledge is important. And if it's important to you, then you'll do what you need to do in order to get it. Or you go to YouTube or you go to college or you go wherever you got to go. But I will pay for what I need in order to get to where I want to go to. Y'all think that you should get everything for free. And then God forbid, if you go ahead and fail, then you're going to blame somebody else for that. If you can't invest in you, why in yourself, then why do you think that someone else should invest in you? The next question, the next comment said, I wish y'all stop asking her stuff. And then the next one says, she is a pyramid schemer. Child. Anyway, y'all can't ever tell what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad. It's always doing the wrong thing or something that don't make sense or something that makes it harder. Instead of listening to someone that even sounds like they got have a bit of sense, have one bit of sense.
You always go for the dif difficult road. You always think you're going to tell somebody. Ain't nobody trying to listen to none of y'all. You don't know what you're talking about most of the daggone time. But y'all going to do what you're going to do. You're going to continue to falter. We're going to continue to watch. We're going to continue to laugh. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, make sure you like this daggone video. Subscribe to the channel and comment. I see you all in the next one. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help.